Well, there is an elephant in the room that we haven't discussed yet. You see, we've gone over endlessly this China coronavirus thing, the deaths. We're up past 4,000 now. New York is getting slapped around by it, by it really bad. Make sure you pray for them. We've talked about it endlessly on my show, the economic impact. And look, we're not going to stop talking about that. I understand every single show out there, everybody else wants to only focus on well, the deaths and the pandemic. And yes, that stuff is important. We are going to tell the story of the working man always on this show. Why? Because he matters too. I noticed everybody's screaming at me about, yeah, stop talking about the economy, Jesse. Jesse, you only care about money. The funny thing about that is almost all of them are, one, still getting a paycheck, and two, live in the Washington, D.C., New York City corridor. The rest of America matters, too. We're not going to stop telling these stories. Not now, not ever. You can scream at me till you're blue in the face. But there is something else we haven't discussed. We're out of money. And I mean, out of money is putting it really, really kindly. Let's do the math here. The Trump administration and Congress, it's on them both, they were running $1 trillion deficits, $1 trillion going into this. This is before any pandemic hit, before any economic slowdown, when the economy was booming, and I mean booming, maybe the greatest economy we've ever had. We were still managing to spend $1 trillion a year more than we were taking in. Staggering. Obama-style numbers. Um, let's see. Now, government revenues, tax revenues, are unquestionably going to be in the toilet because people aren't working. Therefore, people aren't paying taxes. So we were already running trillion-dollar revenues. Now, or trillion dollar deficits, now revenues are down here, so that deficit only goes up. Oh, by the way, we just passed a two trillion dollar stimulus plan when revenues are dropping. We're spending more, revenues are through the floor. On top of that, they're talking about spending another two trillion at the end of the wow, we're just gonna do an infrastructure project now. I understand. I only went to community college. I certainly don't want to speak out of turn here. But um, there are economic laws. You see, there are several economic theories. You know, what's best? Capital, capitalism, collectivism, collectivism, all that stuff. You can, you can, you know, should we be commies? Should we be free? You can have that argument until you're blue in the face. But there are economic laws. I understand the big Ivy League educated brains in Washington, D.C. think you can just run over to the printing press to the end of time and hit print on the $100 bills and say, look, look at how much money we just made. Um, no. Economic laws say that every time you print one of those dollars, unbacked, which they're all unbacked now, you are lowering the value of that dollar. Now. Yes, there's all kinds of currency manipulation out there where we're avoiding having to take that on the chin, but uh, I hate to be the one to break it to all you people in government. There's an expiration date on that. And if you want to find out what that expiration date is, go ahead and spend $4 trillion in one year than you make. You can't do that. You cannot spend this much money and this thinking that you can shut down a $20 trillion economy and somehow make up those gains with a $2 trillion stimulus plan and then a $2 trillion infrastructure plan. That's insane. I'm sorry. I don't mean to disagree with your favorite politicians. That's insane. On top of that, you saw what they just did with a coronavirus relief bill. I mean, you saw the disgusting stuff that was in it, even if it didn't make it till passage. I mean, they were trying to get everything, and they passed $25 million for the Kennedy Center of the Arts. What do you think that would put in there as a $2 trillion infrastructure bill? Can you even comprehend how much crap would be in that thing? It's not going to be a stimulus. It's not going to give us a boost. It's going to be a gigantic federal dollar giveaway to every powerful congressman and senator with a special interest out there. Well, how do I know how that's how do I know that's the way it's going to work? Because that's how it always works.
every single time. Wow, well, we're just going to pass a big bill and handle this. And then they pass a big bill and it's full of crap. And because we don't have a media in this country, nobody bothers to do a little bit of digging and figure out who is responsible for putting this disgusting item in the bill. You notice that never happens? I mean, let's be honest, that, like that last one I just talked about, the $25 million for the Kennedy Center for the Arts. Who did that? Is that a radical thing to ask? I'm not, I mean, we all agree that some magical fairy didn't descend from the clouds and put that in the bill, right? A living, breathing human being sat down, penciled that out, slipped it in the bill. A person did that. Who? Somebody knows. Somebody did it, and somebody knows who did it. And that was just the last one. What in the world do you think those scumbags would do with another $2 trillion blank check of not only money that's unbacked, money that's not coming in? Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.